Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the word. Hey, um, I, today we're talking about dishonest weights. All right. So um, I'm actually uh, in the process of losing some weight now. I am planning on going to, well, uh, two things why I want to lose weight. I'm doing a race in uh, Homestead in March, and I want to be lighter for that weight race. You run a whole lot faster if you are lighter. Okay, so I want to get about 20 pounds lighter uh, for that race. And then also uh, in April, then I'm going to Turkey and I definitely want to, you know, have that that same weight, uh, those 20 pounds uh, still gone um, at that time, because I, it, you, you're flying in an airplane and it's tight uh, in there. And if you have 20 pounds less of you in that in that seat it's a whole lot more comfortable okay so anyway that, I'm, that's just me now let's say I have I'm doing a, a, a weight loss challenge with someone like hey let's see who can lose the most weight okay and so you go oh yeah yeah let's do that and you have a little contest and you have this bathroom scale and if you if you know the bathroom scales the old older bathroom scales that have the you know the dial thing that you know spins around to the right thing you know on the bottom of that th that scale it has a little dial that you can um, adjust the the weight to be exactly zero to start with okay because um, you know it's to um, sync it up to, to the right uh, weight and so you can adjust that but you can also use it uh, to cheat, all right? So you might be at the beginning of your weight loss challenge and you, you're like, um, yeah, I want to show that I'm, I'm a little lost the most weight. So you turn that scale um, up or you adjust that scale to show that you're ha actually heavier than you are. So let's say that um, I'm like, let's say I'm two, 220 pounds, okay? And instead, of me actually being 220 pounds, I make the scale show that I'm actually say 225 pounds. Okay. And so then it looks like I'm 225 pounds. Then, you know, you have several weeks that you're doing this weight loss challenge. Um, and then when you get to the end of that thing and you do the weigh, weigh in thing, you know, and you're taking a picture of the scale there, what you do is you, 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 you know, spin that dial the other way and so it makes it look like you weigh less and so you might let you weigh 200 pounds now but you change the scale down and make that dial you know change that dial to make it uh, look like you um you know are down to 195 okay so then in reality you lost 20 pounds but in the scale because of the way you did it it looks like you lost 30 pounds and you had this bet going with someone that you'd get you know, I don't know, a, a free Whopper meal or something from McDonald's if you did that. Not, not the proper thing you want to do if you're trying to do weight loss. But anyway, you, something like that. And uh, the, you, you won the contest because, you know, you you lost 30 pounds instead of 20 uh, like that. Um, cheating. That's dishonest. All right. Well, God talks about that dishonest, the, those dishonest scales in this section that we're going to read today. Um, it was common in that day. You'd have, uh, you didn't have scales like we have today, but you'd have this, this, um, the seesaw scale. All right, and you would have these these rocks that were weighed out, rocks or coins or something weighed out to a certain weight. Okay, and you'd have these guys that would be cheaters, and if they were buying something, they would have a different set of weights than when they were selling the thing. Okay. So it was, um, they would have those, and it's dishonest. They wouldn't have, you know, the five pound weight. They would have this three pound weight that they would use sometimes. And they'd have the seven pound weight that they'd use sometimes, but they never did use the five pound weight that they were supposed to be used for both everything, both, both things, both everything. Ah, anyway, let's read here today. This is uh, taken from Deuteronomy chapter 25 verses 11 through 19. Okay. And it's several different things we're going to actually be talking about here today. Verse 11, if two men are fighting and the wife of the one of them comes to the rescue of her husband from the from his assailant and she reaches out and seizes him by the private parts, you shall cut off her hand and show her no pity. Okay. Just kind of a straightforward thing there that we don't really need to talk about much. Verse 13, 
Do not have two differing weights in your bag, one heavy, one light. Do not have two differing measures in your house, one large and one small. You must have accurate and honest weights and measures so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. For the Lord your God detests anyone who does these things and anyone who deals dishonestly. Okay, Verse 15, it, you know, it said there, you must have accurate and honest weights and measures. Okay, um, And it, what in verse 14 it says, you don't have two different measures in your house. Don't have a scale where you, you change the dial uh, it, according to what you want. Verse 17, remember what the Amalekites did to you along the way when you came to Egypt. When you were weary and worn out, they met you in your, along your journey and attacked you all, attacked all who were lagging behind. They had no fear of God. When the Lord your God gives you rest from all your enemies around you in the land he is giving you to possess as an inheritance, you shall blot out the name of Amalek from under heaven. Do not forget. Okay? God was very serious about this, uh, you know, verse 17 on here, when he was talking about the Amalekites. And uh, because the Amalekites were, were ones that picked on the weaker people in the back and killed those people off, uh, God was saying, you need to wipe them out, okay? And, it, you know, it goes right along um, with what I talked about yesterday with the, with the death penalty of um, kidnapping, okay? When people kidnap someone, they're not kidnapping, you know, the, the super strong guy. They're kidnapping usually women and children um, that are helpless, um, that are, are weaker. And um, God was saying, with dealing with the Amalekites, have no mercy on them, okay? And I'm also saying... The same thing when you're, you're um, kidnapping those weaker people like that and kidnapping anybody. Um, yeah, the death penalty needs to come. I know, you're going to write me hate mail about that, but uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, so the, the whole thing I want you to see here is in this middle section, though. Uh, not having dishonest weights. In, the, in your dealings with other people, don't be one that has the dishonest weights, okay? Uh, dishonest about the different things that you're doing. Okay, so, you know, we are Christians and we are to be an example to other people around us. And it starts with being honest. All right, let me pray. Lord God, help us to be people that are honest with others and uh, not trying to take advantage of, of each other. But we want to be honest and uh, live a life that's fair to others. Guide us and help us with that. And may we be godly examples to the people around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word, and join me tomorrow as we actually start chapter 26 of Deuteronomy. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.